if you don't want your family to find out about something, don't show your face on camera and talk about it. Because I'm fairly Gen sure that your entire Gen family Gen knows Gen exactly Gen what your mug looks like. As if that was actually a searchable item. And she's like, face recognition, it works, bitches. If you really don't want people to find out about something, just generally don't put it on the internet. Yeah, pretty much. It's a very, very simple rule. If you don't want people to find out about something, don't put it on the fucking internet. Hello, YouTube. Now, some of the people who are subscribed to me who know me, and people who have just been subscribed to me for a long time, know that I'm very protective of my personal information. Um, I don't even allow my first name to be released on this site, um, or on any site in any permanent sense. However, I do allow some people that I've grown a friendship with, that I've developed friendship with, to call me by that name when we're in voice conversations and the like. Um, it's never something that's recorded. It's not something that's put in print in a public forum. Now, the name that I allow some of the people I'm closer to here on YouTube is not my legal name. It isn't a name that anyone who knows me purely through YouTube can use to find me. However, it is the name that my family knows me by. Now, my family contains some rather volatile and dangerous elements, dangerous people, and these are people that I choose not to associate with, and people whom I don't wish to find me. I receive word, almost regularly, at least once a month, that one of the family members that I don't wish to associate with, in particular, is trying to find me. That this person um, contacts them by mail and by phone, asking about me, wanting my address, wanting to contact me. And I don't wish to associate with this person, because this person is abusive, and this person has committed murder. The name that I allow some of my closer friends here on YouTube to call me by in private conversations is the name that the particular family member that I don't wish to associate knows me by. Now, unfortunately, I have been in conversations with um, people who aren't particular friends of mine and people who are, and the name does tend to come up. An individual learned my name in this way. That individual has not only dropped that name here on YouTube, but has gone on and posted it on an off-site forum. Apparently, never considering the fact that there may be a reason 
I don't want that name known. Now, the individual in question posted my information in such a fashion that it would have been possible to post the same information excluding the name. For some reason, this individual chose not to do that. So, um, my channel has been unavailable for quite some time, and I'm afraid it's going to be unavailable for a while longer. Until I feel comfortable with it not being. And, um, yeah, that, that's it. And I'm just asking that if you should come across a name other than the name that I use here on YouTube, Miss Pure Fiction, MPF, Miss Pure Fiction 007, Miss Fiction, any combination thereof, that is used to address me, I would ask that you not spread it around, simply for the safety of myself and of my child. Thank you. By YouTube. Uh, Dark Firebrand. That's the fun part about the uh, about it, though. She was terrified of her family finding her. Yet she makes YouTube videos with her face in it. And when I call her by a nickname that everyone else called her by, that's what's going to make her family find her. A nickname that's actually a very very common name, by the way. You know, uh, how? If I'm so scared of my family finding me, I won't show my face on camera. It's like, no. face recognition. It works, bitches. You know? One other thing I want to know. The, the little nickname that Felita has for the AOD, Team Baby.